hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to be doing another pack with me this time it is for vegas so i'm super excited i've never been on the west coast before i've never been to vegas so i'm nervous because i'm like i don't know what to expect most of my vacations when i do pack with me is that we're going somewhere tropical we're going to the beach you know a cruise whatever so i'm not really sure what to expect here and to be completely honest I wasn't really like knowledgeable about the weather on the west coast I just assumed like it was gonna be really warm but the weather is like a little cold right now or like cold in my opinion um, I was expecting it to be like 85 and it's like 60s and at night it's gonna be like 40 which 40 is almost the Pennsylvania weather I definitely had to switch some things up I watched a lot of YouTube videos what to do in Vegas and like perfect days and activities and stuff and the main thing I was actually really watching for is what people were wearing because I don't know when I think of Vegas I just think of just really fancy and like glamour or something I don't know you see like bachelor parties and bachelorette parties and people celebrating their birthdays so I was kind of thinking like um, maybe I have to dress a little nicer but a lot of people were just wearing casual clothes and I noticed that you're gonna be walking a lot even though I had nicer outfits I obviously wanted to wear like heels with them but I don't want to be wearing heels all day every day that we're there as always I'm bringing my carry-on suitcase which is looking a little crazy right now same stuff if you watch my St. Thomas pack with me the luggage is the same obviously the outfits are gonna be different if you want to see what I'm packing and bringing for Vegas then keep on watching so I kind of have everything all over the place because I knew that I was gonna film it so I didn't want to like make everything perfect and this is gonna be my personal item that goes on the floor um, of the plane I don't really have too much packed in here yet I put some fruit snacks because when I was going to St. Thomas I know I'm like rambling a lot but whatever um, I always like to have some fruit snacks with me because if I'm really hungry I will get a headache to the point of a migraine and I'll get really sick so even though this is probably just straight sugar at least I I don't know maybe I have diabetes I, I don't know but I need something to prevent that and it just happened in St. Thomas on the flight there that I went and got a bagel at the airport before we left and they made the bagel wrong they put like a solid pound of cream cheese on it when I asked for butter and I'm sorry y'all like I can't I, I do not like cream cheese and I couldn't force myself to eat that all they had are like you know the complimentary snacks and the snack boxes so these are always good to have some sort of snack it don't have to be fruit snacks it could literally be like a granola bar or something um I have wet wipes and deodorant just so that this is easy to get to especially deodorant because the flight is a little longer than most ones that I normally go on nothing else I have packed really in here I put my passport in here just because that's like the number one thing I don't want to forget so I have this cute stitch one. I'm gonna put my AirPods in the front here as well. And then just like a couple random stuff. I have gum, a hair tie, Advil, and an eye drop. So those are like necessities that I wanna get quick and I wouldn't have to dig for it. So this is like my probably most important pouch of all my luggage. And then on the side, I just have a little hand sanitizer. So that's everything I have so far in here. And obviously I'm gonna pack more than that my next thing is my toiletry bag so we are gonna be staying at a hotel but I do like to bring my own shampoo and conditioner I have my face wash in here I have a body mist and a perfume and then I also have my two hairsprays like last time I can tell the, by the smell which one is which so I have these as well I didn't fill them up completely because for one they always leak and for two, I'm not gonna be in Vegas for that long that I really need a full bottle. These are all of my liquids. I don't really have too much makeup packed yet because I usually wait until I'm pretty much done or like ready to go on the trip. But I have a bronzer, a blush that I probably will switch these out um, just and get smaller size ones because I don't need big ones like that. I have my jewelry in here that I just put in a little plastic baggie, a lip gloss, a chapstick, two mascaras and then down here is all of my other like miscellaneous stuff so we have some makeup remover wipes i have band-aids boob tape <laughs> my hair mousse benadryl q-tips all of my hair supplies so hair ties bobby pins um little scrunchies hair ties hair clips shaver pepto excedrin some more advil 
uh, lotion. I've got my toothpaste over here. I still have to pack my toothbrush. I have some more eye drops in here as well. And that's pretty much, I think, everything that I really need there. As for, like, toiletry items. And then I also have some melatonin and allergy pills. We'll put them in here as well. And then a couple other hair items that I, I got my comb. And then my hairbrush once I'm ready and not using that anymore. I'm going to bring two pairs of sunglasses. Good thing I did that when I just went to St. Thomas. I talked about on my TikTok, maybe on here as well, that my one, my favorite pair of sunglasses, they broke. And so I was so hurt, but thankfully I had a backup pair. So I'm going to make sure that I am careful this time and I'm definitely leaving this pair in there. And then hopefully I will be more careful with a, my other pair that doesn't have a case. Something new that I'm actually bringing because I normally don't. I'm gonna bring my Nintendo Switch. So my boyfriend got this for me. Like I said, just because the flight is longer. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, but I would like to just have it in case I am like extremely bored for some reason. Even like when we were in St. Thomas, we were at the airport for a little while and I would have liked to have it because I was, I literally watched like, I don't even know how many episodes. I wanna say like five or six episodes of Prison Break and the episodes are like 40 minutes long. <laughs> Practically like almost a whole season of Prison Break I watched sitting at the airport. And then we're going to move on to my suitcase. So I actually just got a pair of shoes. This is from Moda Taupe. I really like this design on it because it's a little bit thicker. And I always do like a strap around the ankle. I feel like it's more secure. I don't really wear heels that often, but I feel like I can walk in them. But I do like having it strapped onto me. So then that way it's more secure and it helps you walk better. My boyfriend is going to have like a business dinner our first night there. So obviously I want to look nice and professional, but I don't want to look like you know, too dressed up in a way, because I'm not sure what these people are going to be wearing. It's easy for men to look nice. They could put a dress shirt on and call it a day. For a woman, it's like, okay, what type of dress do we need? Is it like a short little cocktail dress? Is it a gown? Is it a party dress? Like a little short black mini dress? Like there are just too many options. I'm a little nervous for that. I actually did a Forever 21 order because we went there last night and I got this dress that was really cute but it was a little too see-through but they have it in black so I did an online order pickup that my boyfriend's gonna pick up for me tomorrow we at least have another outfit too that should be pretty good one option this it doesn't necessarily have to be for the dinner this could just be for a night of going out is this black romper so it's long sleeve which I think is good because of it being a little colder at night and it wraps around so I think this could be kind of cute and it might be cute with those heels too. I probably will bring just one bra. I know we're not there for that long for one, but just most likely for um, the flight home. Or I might need a bra actually with this romper. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring one black bra because I don't really think most of my outfits respectfully need a bra. I have this top that I've worn in St. Thomas. It has a matching skirt, but like I said, cause it is gonna be a little chilly. I figured I could just wear some blue jeans with it. I wanna try this on, see how it looks. It's an idea, but I'm not completely set on it yet. As bad as it sounds, I almost don't wanna bring this because I think this is the only outfit that I would want white shoes with. And if I don't have to bring this pair of sandals, then I don't really care to. Pretty much everything is meant for black heels or sandals. Or you know what, I'm actually gonna bring I'm gonna wear sneakers, so maybe I'll wear my white Adidas Superstars, and then it could just go with this, but we'll see. Then this next outfit I thought was super cute. This is from Halara, the top and the skirt. So this is a long sleeve top, and this, why I was saying about not eating a bra, there's like a built-in sports bra, basically. And then this is the skirt, which has shorts underneath. I just got this top last night at Forever 21. It's just this black long sleeve top, and I was just gonna pair it with this pair of jeans. I have my phone charger in here that I'm actually going to put in my backpack. And then a couple of more going out outfits. So I have this dress. I've had this dress for years. I This was a dress that was like just for an Instagram pic like three years ago and I never wore it out. Maybe it is time in Vegas to wear it. I know this isn't the most professional dress looking type. But I think this might actually match my boyfriend's outfit really well. So maybe if this looks nice with heels, this could be like my dinner outfit that we're going to. And then that black dress that I was talking about. But other than that, that's it. Like 
we're not there for long like i've said multiple times now and i think that should be good i think our hotel has a pool i have two bathing suits this one's from cup she and this is this one is from berlook i haven't worn either of them other than like trying them on satin pillowcase as always don't come for me y'all travel mirror also as always got all of my underwear socks i have here some are just to sleep in others are in case i want to wear sneakers and then we have some pajama shorts pajama tops and then i think i'm gonna possibly work out one of the days my boyfriend's gonna be at an event for a while so i'm respectfully gonna stay behind and get a workout in i probably will take this outfit these shorts and top and then sneakers will be whatever I wear on the plane. I'm just going to bring this one purse, this black one. I'm not sure where this is from. Maybe like Yes Style, possibly. Two more pairs of shoes. And these little black mule type of shoe. And then my favorite black sandals. So both of these are from Target. A new day. So that is everything I have so far. Obviously, I still have stuff that I need to pack. So like tweezers, nail clipper, all like my wallet, ID, my phone my tripod and my remote so that I can film and take pictures. I'm gonna bring like little eyebrow scissors. I think those are always good to have, obviously one to do my eyebrows and for two in case you have like any tag or string that you need to cut off. Then everything else is just my makeup. So like my brow stuff, my concealer, my brushes for all of that. That is it. I will see you guys next time and stay tuned for a Vegas vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.